Oh my god! Swimsuit Rukia is a reality, guys. I can't believe no one like DM me or woke me up or anything. But if you haven't seen it yet, the new uh, swimsuit banner for the end of the month is out. Well, it's not out, but the information's out. And it's going to be Rukia and Retsu. Only two characters, which has kind of been a thing lately, but that's okay because one of the characters is Rukia. So, man, guys, we got a lot to talk about. So let's go over the basic info first. I'll tell you everything that's happening, and then I'll give you my take after that. So here we go. Uh, the banner is dropping June 30th, and it goes till July 13th. And the filler is what you see here on the screen. Uh, it's a lot of filler, guys. There's, uh, what, what is there? There's like uh, seven filler characters. So uh, your odds of getting a new one, one of the banner units, Retsu or Rukia, are not going to be the best. But, I mean, it is what it is. This is the way they do it these days, and, uh, you know, that's just what we have to live with. But that's okay, because uh, Swimsuit Rukia is in this banner. Uh, if we look at the filler, it looks decent. We got last year's Swimsuit units, which are all still pretty good. And then we got the Kukaku from a couple years ago. And then we got that Yoruichi, uh, who's not actually that bad, guys. Underrated character. And Isane and Lisa, who are kind of okay. But a lot of people already have those characters, so, I mean, that's the way it is. Anyway, let's check out the Rukia first, guys. The Rukia. First of all, let's take a second to appreciate the artwork. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My head's going to explode, guys. Look at how cute and sexy that artwork is. Yo, props to the uh, K-Lab art department. Uh, they actually put the best artist on this, on these characters. Uh, you can really see the quality compared to the last few banners. It's like, like levels above the last few banners we've seen. This artwork, that's like a desktop screensaver wallpaper thing. That's definitely worthy. That might be... <sighs> this might be my favorite swimsuit character of all time, guys. I, I don't know. It's between this one and the Nelio. So, um... It's tough. It's tough. Anyway. Now, uh, Rookie is going to be a purple heart character. Melee. Uh, affiliation, obviously, is Soul Reaper. Killer is also Soul Reaper. And Soul Trait is Strong Attack Recharge minus 14. So she's a 14 recharge link, which is awesome. Uh, the stats, you see them there. Pretty good stats overall. And the six Thor skills, the usual kit. Sprinter Frenzy, Berserker, Havoc. Uh, she, so she's going to have good range. Devastation 40, Bruiser 20, Debilitator 5. Nothing to talk about there, really. Um, and she has Guard Break, which is something to talk about. Which That's a great skill to have basically in any stage where there's enemies <laughs> you know what i'm saying guard break's awesome so i'm glad that rukia has it and it's a solid kit overall like so moving on she also has two innate abilities and they're pretty good innate abilities fire immunity and poison immunity so damn that's pretty good guys like because a lot of stages have poison or fire on the ground especially stuff like uh iz it uh extreme co-op stuff like that so it's good she's gonna be good for that and uh, I guess we have to talk about the arena skills because arena is a thing now. Uh, the arena soul trait, strong attack, plus 13% with spiritual pressure 90. Pretty decent. I, I think recharge is better, but strong attack damage plus 13 is pretty good as well. And the arena skills, all stats plus 40%, which that seems to be a normal thing for uh, most new characters now. Or like... Most newer characters, I guess. Uh, strong attack damage plus 30. And paralysis immunity. So in Arena, she's going to be immune to three different things, guys. Paralysis, poison, and fire. That's pretty OP. Uh, all right. Uh, let's take a look at the gameplay real quick, because I know that's what you came here for. And there she is. Oh, my God. The first time I saw this, guys, I was like, what the hell? She's riding a banana? And then I was like, oh, my God. That's even better than I dreamed it would be. The banana riding, I love it. I also love the character model. Look at her face. Look how happy she is. So adorable. Oh my god, my head. I can't stand it, guys. All right, here we go. Now paralysis on everything, and look at the nad string. Pretty good range. She's freaking using a huge banana to attack people. Down to zero. Down to zero, guys. Oh my god. Uh, the kit. Uh, I, you know, to be honest, I really don't care. But uh, strong attack one is a dash forward right there. You just saw it. And here's the nad guard break on everything. Soul Reaper killer. Remember that. She's attacking with a banana. Oh my god, this is like my dream character, guys. Strong attack 2, it's kind of like a vortexy type attack. Um, it's it's centered around her body, so uh, not great range, so you have to be in the middle of mobs to use it. And strong attack 3 is a full screen, so pretty good kit. I'm not in love with the strong attack 2, I gotta admit, but uh, the fact that she's using a banana to kill people makes her meta, in my opinion. There's strong attack 1, the dash. 
Love the dash. 14 recharge as well, guys. So um, if you put on full recharge, she's going to be able to spam strong attacks all day long. And paralysis on everything. That makes her good for uh, stuff like IT. Excellent character. Excellent. Look at I mean, look at the character model. I, lo I love the character model. I, I mean, I could have done without the little jacket, I guess. But uh, she still looks pretty cool. And we're about to see the special. I think it's right here. The best special in BBS. Look at actually riding the banana and cones there too. <laughs> and then she wipes out and goes underwater. And look at her. That that's a screensaver right there where she just like uh, kind of starts floating and she's smiling. Love it. Oh my god. I love the Rukia. Okay. Uh, stop, stop sipping. I'm gonna be simping about this Rukia for the next like little bit, guys. So uh, if you're not into people who simp, don't watch my channel. All right, anyway, let's go on to Retsu. Retsu is also pretty good as well, guys. Love the Retsu. I mean, she's just kind of overshadowed by Rukia to me, in my opinion. But I love the character design. Look at that little hat. Uh, the color of the swimsuit. I love the choice of the burgundy. And that little lace thing on her thigh. Oh my god, and the little glove. Oh, oh can't let killing it. Knocking it out of the park. Uh, it doesn't even bother me that there's only two swimsuit characters. You know, I mean, because they made that Grimge out too recently, guys. Anyway, before I start rambling, which is too late, uh, Retsu is going to be a blue speed character, ranged unit. Uh, affiliation is obviously Soul Reaper and Captain, and her killer is Soul Reaper as well. Uh, Soul Trait is strong attack recharge minus 12%. Pretty good. Stats right there. SP is 819, which is pretty dang high, guys. Um, I don't know if that's the highest in the game, but it's up there. And the six star skills. Guys, check it out. Another potion character. So we have another blue potion character uh, in addition to the Christmas Momo. That's great news. Uh, more options for us in IZ. Also, the kit Frenzy, Berserker, Havoc, Devastation, Bruiser, Debilitator, Guard Break, and Weakened Defense. So amazing kit, guys. Guard Break and Weakened Defense. That's awesome. Um, you'll notice that she doesn't have Sprinter because uh, Sprinter, believe it or not, is in her innate skills. I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, she doesn't have Sprinter. What? That's 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 trash. But she does have a uh, Sprinter in her innate skills. I'll show them to you now. Uh, and she also has Paralysis Immunity, and she can hit dodging enemies. So if you ever do that uh, that Hogyoku stage uh, with the dodging enemies, she can hit those Soul Reaper um, the units that dodge. Also, uh, the arena, the arena information, arena soul trade is plus 13%, focus plus 30, and arena skills, all stats plus 40%, and strong attack damage plus 30%. So not really too much to talk about there. Anyway, on to the gameplay. All right, there she is, Mama Retsu with the little sun hat. Love the character model. She looks awesome. Um, same with Rukia. I don't really dig the uh, the, the like the, uh, the little uh, coat type thing. I wish they wouldn't put that on, but I guess it looks all right. I mean, Retsu's classy. She wears stuff like that. She don't want to show too much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's the normal attack string. Look at that. Look at the particle effects, guys. Um, the little bubbles. That looks freaking cool as hell. Love it. And the little trail with the waves behind it. Strong attack one, a uh, beam forward with range collision. Strong attack two, a beam forward with melee collision. And strong attack three is a full screener. So this kit, guys, actually uh, is pretty good for a ranged unit. Uh, she can stay far away most of the time. Uh, it's actually pretty good for Arena as well, is what I found. Because I've been using the, uh, the Red Nelio from Camp Fear Your Own World, the two-legged version. And she has a similar kit to this Retsu. So, uh, it's actually not bad. You know, I mean, people might disagree with that, but I think it's fine. There you go, guys. Uh, the second strike attack with the lace, the sexy lace. Oh my god. Oh my god. Simping again. I mean, I'm not much of a simp for Retsu, but I do like Retsu, so, um... You know, just because I'm not simping that hard, don't don't freak out. I do like Retsu. I lo also like that Shrug Attack 1. She has like an inflatable uh, Minazuki that comes out there. Uh, and, and the Shrug Attack 3 is awesome. It turns like the whole stage into into a beach. Awesome, awesome. Man, Caleb really does well for these uh, seasonal units. They really uh, pull out all the stuff. So I got to give them props for doing that. Also, I got to give props to Heken for getting us this extended gameplay. I forgot to do it when I showed the Rukia gameplay, but shout out to Heken for doing this. Uh, there is also official gameplay on the K-Lab social media, but it's kind of shorter than this. There's the special, you get hit by a volleyball and Retsu's there to wake you up. And she's got her boobs in your face, which is um, which is all right with me. I'll take that hit, I'll take that hit. All right guys, uh, that's about all the information and the gameplay that we have for the characters. They both look strong, bottom line, they both look strong, they're both awesome. Um, you know, are they meta units? 
Eh, I don't know, but they're really good units. Uh, the Retsu does have potion drop, so, and she's probably a better potion unit than Momo, so uh, that'll be good if you don't have a potion unit. And the Rukia is just amazing, guys. Come on, Banana Rukia? Banana Rukia. I don't even need to say anymore. Anyway, that's it. That's the information. I'm going down to zero. That's all there is to it. Um, I don't like my odds of getting a character because there's only two units in this banner and there's a lot of filler. But, you know, we gotta try, guys. We gotta see what happens. Um, I actually thought about waiting for the individual, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to wait that long. <laughs> the individuals don't come out until uh, July 13th. And that's like, that's like forever away. So we gotta go in when it drops on the 30th. I'll be there. Um, come watch the live stream. It should be fun, guys. Banana Rukia hype. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.